What's up? This is HG News here. So, I'm here basically because of the Trump thing that is supposed to be about the tariffs that are going to be added to the China goods. Once again, there's going to be more tariffs, more 10 percent, whatever, unless they agree to some kind of deal, free deal. They're going to have more money coming out of more expensive products. And that will affect all kinds of goods. And Mexico's involved in a way. So it's not good. And I wish this pretty could just be dismissed and be done. Because it's hurting us more. It's hurting the market for one. It's hurting the person who has to pay more. And then taxes that are going up throughout Illinois are going to make a big difference. As well as, as, well as other states. We got corruption in every state. Politicians who just care about their money. And guess what? Chicago, my state. <laughs> That's where most of our tax dollars go. And most of the, de the debt. Chicago should be cut off this city because they, they owe so much. They got so much more up there. They didn't need to have. But a lot of the corruption up there is in that location. And this is... I'll never go to Chicago again because guess what? I'm paying a fortune for them up there. Because they can't get their budget together. They can't not tax us less. Like they're trying to they're trying to tax in like a week or so. Gas is going to go up a lot. Instead of being 19 cents a gallon. You say... Um, it's now it's going to be 38 cents a gallon. So it's going to... Oh, good Lord. <coughs> Sorry about the cough. I had lasagna and I actually had a couple of days worth of it. And with my sinus issues, it thickens my mucus. And I already had thick mucus. So it gets in my lungs and I had to go over over time. So yeah, it's a normal thing. I've been having this all my life. It's just... I do have asthma. I do have something that's not post-nasal bitch, but still have side effects from it. That's really weird for my mom's family, from her father. So yeah, I'm basically just saying I got hemophilia, I got bleeding disease, and I got a couple of times. So, you know, I've been using cop drops when I feel gaggy, basically waiting so on, so often, you know. Because so, <coughs> that's pretty much what it is. Is I can't have no cheese for like a week or more. And I can't have chips for at least until that tooth is removed and that bread's healed and the teeth are fixed. I'm out for a while, popcorn included, soft foods only, and probably not any dairy because I can't tie already. My sinuses are getting too thick with mucus and I can't have it anymore, I guess. It's just how it is. It's annoying. I know it's a sad thing to do because I love a lot of mashed potatoes and cheese. <coughs> And I'm on my, my, my medicine, trust me. It just, that's how it is, you know. So, you got 14 gallons. You maybe got a 20 hour, 20 hour gallon tank. I'll say 100 gallons, maybe. 50 gallons. So, 50 gallons times 19 cents. <coughs> Gallon times nineteen. <coughs> That's four dollars total. Now I'm gonna do the new tax. So I five then times point thirty eight cents per gallon. That's nine and a half dollars. That's just been added to their gas price, which is gas is around three dollars a gallon. <coughs> so wherever else, you know, this is so then that's a normal amount of you're guessing, you know, it's really expensive around here sometimes. So <coughs> Yeah, sorry about this. There's just nothing I can do about it. So I actually get some medicine again apparently. Um, times 20, 
$75 for three dollars and got um, like a hundred bucks, man. Jesus. There's three. $350. $87. I'm going to actually try to. Something where I can actually write this down. So I have to. Alright, I got it. I'm just. All my devices are getting basically old. It's just outdated. I am, really am. I'm not like. Some people want to teach me a little bit of this to actually help me quite a bit, so. <coughs> oh, man, this is a dog. So, 39 cents. Oh my god. You're paying nearly a hundred bucks for gas. You were never moving around that. Can you imagine how much this is gonna cost? You got a fifty gallon, maybe a little more. So you have a big truck, right? Times Ninety-eight because this is probably the highest that's being available. Three dollars a gallon, one hundred and fifty dollars for fifty gallons. If you figure, this is like a total amount over a month or so. Not including the self tax, by the way. So one hundred fifty dollars, <coughs> and it's off again. Me, this is just the first couple of days of it, actually. So, oh yeah. I had to hand it to you. $19. That's a lot of money. I want to know the retail current. That's a huge chunk. They're basically paying. Same for the other, just lower percent. <coughs> Plus 19. That's 169 that you actually owe to a gas station, not including their actual C tax and other things. So that's gonna go up. If you use 50 gallons, I mean, depending. You may use a gallon, you may. We drive all this will hit you. I don't drive, but I would know this would cost a bunch of money, and there's nothing about it. I mean, I'm not throwing this, maybe I'm making that band go out like that for, for any kind of reason. It just, I point out, ah, there's nothing bad about me, so just don't worry about that. <coughs> it's a trait I got since I was young, and I do interact with certain things, and I. This is nothing for you or anything else. It's normal. So don't fear anything. So you're fine. Just how I am. My brain works. 
I do things without even knowing my body just does it. Like in my things, the hand movements change. That's how I am with autism. And I used to be actually, I used to have to do sign language when I was young because I couldn't talk at all. So my brain is, in the last 28 years, it's been kind of, I still kind of have those, you know, things that happen, you know. <clears throat> where I think about like where I just do a movement when I am and yeah, I know I do it but I don't know why I do it, it's just how it is. Nothing special, nothing different. It's normal for anyone and it's not it's you guys or anything like that. So forgive me of that. So if you need a channel go ahead and subscribe and comment like below and share this video as much as you can because it would help definitely. And push that bell notification button so you actually get notified every time I release a video. So yeah, that's the state is broke, and the weather for here actually cleared up. We're not under as a real thunderstorm wash. We're fine now for Ducoin. It was gonna be until nine, but technically nothing really happened all day. There supposed to have been a lot of, you know, bad thunderstorms, but nothing like a tornado or anything like that. But our places are on watches right now, so. There was one above around Springfield that right in the last hour for a warning, so that's far away from us, like three hours up north, so that's it's going east earlier, so it's nowhere near us. So yeah, I don't think that place had a watch for tornadoes to just shut up like the weather on the on the weather after you don't know. It's easy to do it. <coughs> so I actually like that app more better because I can actually see and I'm not sponsored by them or anything like that. I just use the app to check the weather. I just check the locations, what's what's the watches, all the warnings, what's coming my way, what's the dangerous under some of the, you know, watches and like activity that the the air the devices in the air and the ground detect. When they are the weather system, the radar sees the weather how it thinks it is. It puts it on the phone, you know, you know, this is what the weather's gonna be like, basically. And it's going around us. The coin's kind of like a little pot. And all the storms just go around us. That's it. Basically it. We just are lucky. The coin is, they think this is the lowest. I don't think the coin is the lowest on level for sure. It's the highest in Perry County. The library is the highest part, or the high school is the highest part in Perry County, so... We're up there a lot on height. So yeah, we're kind of elevated, but people don't think we're flat, too flat, but they just go around us. That's all they do. Sometimes we'll get a severe thunderstorm, but most of the time, it's going to go completely around us and miss us. And the weather was showing that, basically, saying by showing on the screen that it's not going to hit us. It's going to go around us because it's way below us. Like, like Closer to Carmadale and below that, and going upward around both directions. So, yeah, we're in the clear for up tonight and tomorrow. <coughs> there are places like Texas, they got some bad weather coming. Yeah, they haven't enough, and they got more coming, and just how it is. I wish we could do something about it. I'd be afraid, definitely, for sure. You know. The weather's going to do what it wants to do. And we're lucky enough to be here. Because <laughs> there was one train that would have kind of got us, but it didn't form correctly. So it technically didn't do anything back in May last month. Late in May. There were two. There's one out by, I'm trying to think, like this direction. Towards Tim Road to coin that SC completely went around us and the one that way towards the fairgrounds was going towards my parents house when I was there in the night and that one I see didn't form correctly and completely missed us so that's how lucky we've been for most of this weather I mean a lot of severe thunderstorms we're supposed to have just don't plan out hit us they avoid us so you know there are good things. People will pray, and it definitely helps the most. Pray to your Lord Jesus. He'll take care of you. Because he said it. 
you help you regardless. If you got fear of tornadoes, nothing to worry about. You go around and still seeing those angels, they don't completely miss you. It's the half for the last couple of years. And the storms didn't actually work correctly as they should have. So that's another safe fault. It's a safety thing, you know, the prayer the Lord does. Even if it forms, if it, it's in there, it didn't do what it should have done. So that's, that counts as spiritual warfare, as you know. So, yeah, thanks for watching.